Well, hey there, my friend, and welcome to the Clear English Corner. I'm Keenan, your Clear English Coach, and I hope you're having a fabulous holiday season. In this lesson, I have some fun and festive idioms that we'll explore that can add a seasonal flair to your conversation. We'll talk about the idiom, what it means, we'll practice it in sentences, and I'll share some specific pronunciation tips to help you sound more clear and natural in your conversations. Sound like a plan? All right, let's dive in. Idiom number one, to light up like a Christmas tree. This means to become very happy or excited. So for example, you might say, when she opened the present and saw the puppy, she lit up like a Christmas tree. Lit up. Typically in this expression, you're going to use the past tense of light, lit, and notice how the two words combine lit up lit up. That T at the end of lit becomes a flap T. This is a very North American speech sound that happens when the T comes between two vowel sounds. Lit up. And notice how that flap T connects in front of the word up. It's not lit up, lit up, lit up. Her face lit up like a Christmas tree. Idiom number two, to be left out in the cold. This means to feel excluded or ignored. I wasn't invited to the party, so I felt left out in the cold when I heard about it. Left out, left out. Again, we've got linking of that final T sound in left into the word out, left out. And do you hear it? Again, we've got that very North American flap T sound left out, left out. I felt left out in the cold when I heard about it. Idiom number three, skating on thin ice. This means you're taking a dangerous or a risky path, like when you're walking on thin ice on a pond. He's been late to work three times this month. He's really skating on thin ice with the boss. Thin ice. Then nice. Here again, we've got linking and flowing of sounds. That in sound at the end of thin releases into the word ice. Thin nice. Making ice sound like nice, nice. Thin nice. Thin nice. He's really skating on thin ice with the boss. Idiom number four, to give someone the cold shoulder. This means to intentionally ignore someone or snub them, usually because of an argument or conflict. So if you have a disagreement with someone at work and they're ignoring you, you might say, they've been giving me the cold shoulder all week. Cold shoulder cold shoulder. We've got the letter O in the word cold and the letters O and U in shoulder, but listen closely. The vowel sound at the core of these words is the same in each word. The rose boat O, cold shoulder, cold shoulder. In English, the rose boat O sound is a moving vowel. And as a result, it's a little longer or stretched a little more than you might be used to. So it's not cold shoulder, cold shoulder, cold shoulder. They've been giving me the cold shoulder all week. Idiom number five, the snowball effect. This idiom is used to describe when something grows or escalates rapidly. Picture a big snowball rolling down the hill and getting bigger and bigger as it reaches the bottom. The snowball effect. The positive feedback from our customers has had a snowball effect and our sales have increased dramatically. Snowball, snowball. Snowball is what we call a compound. This is when two words come together to mean one very specific thing. Snow and ball come together, snowball. With words like this, you're always going to emphasize the first word. So it's not snowball, snowball, snowball. 
snowball effect, snowball effect. Again, notice how that final L sound in snowball links or connects into the word effect, snowball effect, snowball effect. The positive feedback from our customers had a snowball effect and our sales have increased dramatically. Number six, deck the halls. This one means to decorate your surroundings festively, especially during Christmas time. We spent the weekend decking the halls with lights and ornaments. Deck the halls, deck the halls, deck the halls. Notice that little word T-H-E, the, the. This little function word is almost always pronounced very quickly in spoken English, And instead of the, the, you'll hear the, the. Deck the halls, deck the halls, deck the halls. It's this contrast between content words like deck and halls and little function words or grammar words, grammar words like the, that create the natural contrast in spoken English. We spent the entire weekend decking the halls with lights and ornaments. Number seven. Have you heard this one? Tis the season. Tis the season. This phrase is used to express that it's the right time for something, especially during the holiday season. Tis the season for giving and holiday cheer. You might also hear this phrase used to refer to holiday stress and overwhelm. So for example, I'm hosting Christmas at my house this year. I'm in charge of planning the office Christmas party and I haven't even started my shopping. Tis the season, season season. Notice how we have the letter S at the beginning of this word and in the middle of the word, but they don't sound the same. Season, season. The S at the beginning of this word is voiceless. S, then zin, zin. We turn on our voice, the vocal cords vibrate, and we get the Z sound, often represented by the letter Z. Season, season. Tis the season. Idiom number eight, snowed under. Snowed under means to be feeling overwhelmed by tasks or responsibilities, like you're buried under a heavy snowfall. With all these holiday preparations, I'm completely snowed under. Tis the season snowed under, snowed under. Here again, we have linking that ed ending, that d d d sound is connecting in front of the word under to make it sound like dunder, snowed under, snowed under. With all of these holiday preparations, I'm completely snowed under. Number nine, Christmas came early this year. This expression is used to indicate that something wonderful or unexpected happened sooner than expected. I got a promotion at work and it feels like Christmas came early this year. Again, we can practice linking and flowing with the phrase came early, came early. That final M sound at the end of came, linking and connecting into the word early, merly, merly, came early, came early. And careful with that word early. I know you see an E and an A and an R and you think early. No, it's the purple shirt er sound early, early, came early, came early. I got a promotion at work and it feels like Christmas came early this year. And idiom number 10, good things come in small packages. This means that valuable and enjoyable things often come in small sizes. Don't underestimate her. She may be petite, but good things come in small packages. Here again, we can practice linking with the word come, linking into the word in, come in, come in, min, min, that final M connecting and linking into the word in, come in, come in. And here's a quick tip about the word good, 
good. So the word good ends in the consonant D sound. Duh, duh. This is a voiced consonant sound. And when little words end in voiced consonants in English, we're going to hold the vowel a little bit longer. Good, good. Your tendency might be to pronounce this sound too short. So it sounds like good, good, good things instead of good things, good things. Try this with me. Good things, good things, good things come in small packages. Don't underestimate her. She may be petite, but good things come in small packages. And there you have it, my friend, 10 seasonal festive idioms that you can sprinkle into your holiday conversations this year. I hope you found the lesson fun and helpful. If you did, please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future Clear English lessons. I'm wishing you a joyful and very blessed holiday season. As always, Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.